All right, so you really want to dig deep into this new Bruce Springsteen biopic, huh? Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's looking like it's going to be a good one. Yeah, we're talking Deliver Me From Nowhere, the movie that's going behind the scenes of Springsteen's 1982 album, Nebraska. Which is a fascinating choice for a biopic, you know? Oh, totally. Nebraska wasn't your typical Springsteen album. Right, it wasn't like Born in the USA, all big and anthemic. Exactly, yeah. It was this raw, like, almost desolate sound. Yeah, and it was all recorded by himself on a four-track, right? Yeah, just him and a four-track cassette recorder. It's kind of hard to imagine those big hits being recorded like that. Right, it's so different. And there's something about those limitations, you know? Yeah. That stark sound. It just fits the whole feel of the album. Totally, like... Those themes of economic hardship, isolation, yeah. the struggles of working class America, it all just comes through. Exactly. It's like Springsteen stripped bare musically and emotionally. And we've got Jeremy Allen White stepping into the boss's shoes. Interesting choice. I know, right? Mm. This article we're looking at talks about how he nailed the look, but I can't help but think about the bear. Oh, yeah. Remember those close-ups? All yeah. that intensity? Oh, yeah. He can definitely bring the intensity. I think so, too. And, you know, there's something about Nebraska that feels kind of on the edge, too, right? Definitely Springsteen was wrestling with some serious stuff back then. Oh, yeah. Like his relationship with his father, the pressure of fame. All of that poured into the music. And Scott Cooper, the director. He's known for these gritty, character-driven stories. Right, like Crazy Heart and Out of the Furnace. He seems like the perfect choice to really dig into those darker aspects of the story. He gets those everyday struggles, the kind of haunted souls Springsteen sings about. Exactly. And he's basing the film on Warren Zanes' book about the making of Nebraska, so yeah, you know, we're going that's deep. really getting into that creative process. I can already picture it, you know, Springsteen late at night hunched over that four-track. Just pouring his heart out into those songs. And it wasn't just about the music either, right? This was a turning point in his life. Oh, absolutely. He was seeing factories, close people losing their jobs, this sense of disillusionment in America. And it really got to him. It did, and you can hear it in the raw emotion of Nebraska. And you know, we've got Stephen Graham playing Springsteen's father. Wow, that's gonna be powerful. Yeah, given their history, it could be really intense. For sure. And there's even a rumor that Jeremy Strong might be playing John Landau Springsteen's manager. Oh, wow. A good supporting cast can really elevate a biopic, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. It adds so much depth. It helps us understand all the different forces that shape someone like Springsteen as an artist and a person. Like the relationship with his father, all those conflicts that played out throughout his life. That tension is in so much of his work. And it sounds like the film is really going to lean into those conflicts. Yeah, especially how they played out during the making of Nebraska. It was such a personal album for Springsteen. Almost like an exorcism. It really does feel that way, especially in songs like Highway Patrolman and Atlantic City. Those songs hit you right in the gut, you know? They really do. And to think Springsteen almost didn't release Nebraska. I know, right? He just gave the tapes to Lando almost as an afterthought. It's crazy to think this bare bones recording almost never saw the light of day. It makes you wonder how different things could have been. It really does. <laughs> so we've got this intense actor taking on this legendary musician, a deeply personal story behind this iconic album. It's more than just a music biopic. Yeah, do you think so? It's about America, about struggle, <laughs> about the power of music to give a voice to those who don't have one. That's a great point. And the fact that Springsteen himself is supporting the project. That says a lot. It does. They're filming in New Jersey, New York, L.A., all these places that shaped him. I'm really curious to see how they capture that raw energy of Nebraska, that feeling of searching for meaning in a world that feels like it's falling apart. It's a big task. Yeah, it is, but it's a story that needs to be told. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Deliver Me From Nowhere hits theaters next year, and I, for one, can't wait to see it. Me neither. It's going to be something special. I think so, too. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those movies that really gets people talking. Oh, I think you're right. And thinking about what it means to be alive in America today. I hope so. Yeah. Anyway, we'll have to leave it there for now, but we'll definitely be back to cover more deep dives on topics that matter. Sounds good. Thanks for listening.